Okay, so I'll be working on a little script, I call it Coco, and basically it allows you to line up a few of your um, comps and basically put audio in your pre-comps so that um, when you're animating, when you jump in back and forth between comps, everything is all synced up. So at the moment, if I just hit play, So I've done a, a rough job of lining these up. I'll just right click here and go pre-compose selection. So what that's done, it's changed the color and it's changed the name and it's made it a whole strip. So I can actually see um, where this cop kind of starts and ends, even though it's there. So I jump into it as well and it's still got that full frame range. Okay. So I'll just undo that. Okay, so what my little script here does is if I just click, uh, I'll start with this one. So if I just click on this, what it's done is it's kept the name, kept the color, and it's shrinking this uh, as well. There's a few glitches with this, but I'll slowly work on those. <laughs> um, so there's no audio synced on that one. But if I select my audio down here, this is just a pre-comp, uh, I can just click this. And now when I click on, click on, I'll select a couple of them. And now it's synced that audio up. Cool. So if I wanted to do a few of these, I can select three of them and then click on the second button here and that's going to cr create all those as comps as well and sync up the audio uh, which is pretty handy um, this uh, this first tool here it basically creates a pre-comp but it does it offsets everything so that it starts at frame zero so this is good if you want to replace the comp further down the line with something that starts from zero it could be using the auto animate it could be using some kind of stagger or time offset in which case you'd want it to start from zero so that's what that little feature does um and yeah that's pretty much it so i can just select those convert those to one more and I've got this other little feature here from markers, which I haven't really um, played with or, you know, I'll do a, a, a few more features with this markers, but at the moment, this is kind of what it does. Um, with the markers, you can just jump between one, two, and three, and um, away you go. But yeah, that's just like a little bit of an example. Um, so yeah, let me know if there's any features you kind of want me to add, um, and if they're simple enough, I'll throw them in. Let me know also if this is something that you'll be, if you're interested in using it, and um, we'll see how we go. This is like a really uh, rough example of, of how it could work, um, but hopefully that kind of gives you the idea of what it does and, and how it works and how it can improve your workflow. Um, so one of the little bugs here at the moment, like it just, cuts off this but yeah easy enough to fix hopefully um but yeah that's that oh cheers